The Romans were famous for a lot of things, arguably conquering everything above all else. But what actually happened in a Roman triumph? Well, first of all, a general qualified for a triumph if he conquered territory for Rome. After which there was months of planning, which the general had to spend outside the Pomerium, because a general crossing the Pomerium under arms is basically the modern day equivalent of marching into the White House with a Kalashnikov. You, you don't do it unless you've been specifically asked to. And even then, I wouldn't recommend it. The triumph starts with paintings of the newly conquered territories, alongside some animals taken from the region. In Roman times, people weren't able to travel as easily. So seeing a giraffe was kind of mind-boggling. I mean, try for a second explaining a giraffe to someone who's never seen a giraffe before. Some weird long-necked mammal thing. After the livestock and propaganda came the prisoners. And finally come the troops who would sing insulting songs about the general. At the end of the triumph, at the foot of the temple of Jupiter Optimus Maximus, the prisoners would be killed and bulls sacrificed. This was often the apex of a Roman general's career and a celebration of their legacy cemented into history forever.